In this concept video, we're going to look at the production budget, the uh, direct material purchasing budget, direct labor budget, and the man overhead budget. Now the production budget shows the number of units that we must produce. Now this is based on what the salespeople said they think they're going to sell each quarter. We take what they are going to sell, that is what they say we're going to sell that month, but we have to introduce a certain thing here because we're talking inventory. We have to have ending inventory and we are starting off with some beginning inventory. So this ending inventory, it says desired ending inventory, that's management's policy. Management's policy is they want to have a certain percentage of what we need to sell next month as ending inventory in this month. For example, Hayes Company believes it can meet its future sales needs by having 20% of ending inventory at the end of each quarter. So, here's the sales budget, 3,000 in the first quarter. Add desired net income, or desired finished goods. Well, what we need is 20% of what we're gonna sell next quarter. That's 3,500. So 20% of 3,500 is 700. Total needs then, 3,700. But I also have 20% of what I need this quarter on hand. It's ending inventory of last year is the beginning inventory of this year. So the total requirements then, 3,100. We start the second quarter. We need 3,500 for sales, and we also need 20% of next quarter, so it's 20% of 4,000 or 800. Our total needs are 4,300, but recall the ending inventory at the end of quarter one is the beginning inventory for quarter two, and this way we work ourselves right through uh, the whole year determining exactly what we need to produce to meet the sales budget and management's policy. Next then we look at the direct material budget. Now the, this is the budget of purchases of direct material or raw material that we need to meet the production budget. So again it's the same analysis thinking that we did with the production budget that but not talking about sales here what we do is we take the production requirements from the previous budget. We add again management's policy regarding ending inventory of direct materials and we subtract the beginning materials. For example, the management of Hayes Company wants us to maintain an inventory of raw materials or direct materials of 10% of what we need in the next quarter production. And the manufacturer of this product requires two pounds of raw material for each unit produced. And the cost per pound is $4. Assume that the desired ending direct material in inventory amounted to 1020 for the fourth quarter of 2011. Prepare a direct material budget for 2012. Next, we look at the direct labor budget. Now, this is quite simple. You can't inventory labor, so we don't have that problem of beginning and ending inventory, nor management's policy. We simply have to take from the purchasing budget the number of units to be produced. And we multiply that by the direct labor time to produce one of these units. And when we get the hours, we multiply it by the costs. It's as simple as that. So in this example, we go back again. See how important the production budget was? We take the number of units that have to be produced in each quarter, simply multiply it by the number of direct labor hours, and they said you're going to take two hours of direct labor, and the rate is $10. So multiply by the hours, 6,200, multiply by the rate. And in that way, I have the direct labor budget. Next is the manufacturing overhead budget. That is, we're going to estimate what we think the cost will be in manufacturing overhead each quarter of next year. And we break those costs into those that are fixed and those that are variable. The fixed are not going to change from year to year or very much. 
But the variable, of course, has a lot to do with production. So if we're talking now about the selling and minute expense budget, uh, we look at the fixed cost and the variable cost. So the variable expense rates per unit of sales is $3 and freight out is $1. Variable expenses per quarter are based on unit sales from the sales budget. Hayes expects sales in the first quarter to be 3,000 units. Fixed expenses are based on assumed data. We basically know what the rent's going to be. That's a fixed cost uh, from last year if it's changed. So we just use that number. And this would be what our selling and admin expense budget would be. Um, variable cost, sales, commissions, freight out, total variable cost, fixed cost, advertising, and so on, and so on, and so on. And there you have the sales and admin budget, and it's basically the same as the manufacturing overhead budget, the same approach. So there you have all the budgets that we are required to understand in this area except for the cash budget which is the next concept video. Well here we are. If you went back and looked at the production budget you would see that we need to produce this many units in quarter one, this in quarter two, three, and four. Those are the units of finished goods. Now we're doing a direct material budget. Recall that there are two pounds required for every unit of finished goods. So therefore the total pounds required is 6,200, 3,100 times 2, 3,600 times 2. Now they said they want 10% ending inventory. So in the first quarter we need for production 6,200. We also want to have 10% of what we need in quarter 2, 7,200. So the total is 6,920 but we already have beginning inventory, so we subtract that. Therefore, what we need is 6,300 pounds of raw material. Cost per pound is $4. Therefore, our purchasing budget for quarter one would be 25.2. For quarter two, we need 3,600 units to be produced, we need two pounds of raw material per unit, which means now I need 7,200 pounds of raw material. And I have to end up with 10% of what I need the next month, next quarter. So in total I need 8,020, but I don't have to purchase 8,020 because I already have 720 on hand. Ending inventory last year, or last quarter is beginning inventory this quarter. So therefore I have to purchase 7,300 times 4, and in that way I develop my direct material purchasing budget.